off the best rated Amazon survival kit and the best rated Walmart survival kit. And for the next 24 hours, Jack and myself will survive on two separate islands using only our survival kits. I get the bigger, better Amazon kit, but the smallest island. Trey gets the smaller Walmart kit, but the biggest island. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome up here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Make sure before we get started, you guys hit the thumbs up and subscribe because we are on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. The challenge today is to survive 24 hours with our Amazon kit and our Walmart kit on each of our islands. The rules to complete this challenge, you have to build a habitable shelter, start a fire, and catch a fish from your island. But at around the halfway point, they have to solve a riddle to receive one item from a list of five to make surviving on the island easier. We have no idea what these items are because April is actually picking them out. Also, we have five minutes to solve this riddle and failure to solve the riddle will result in you not getting an item off of that list to make surviving on an island easier. Trey and I also have walkie talkies, so we'll be able to communicate with each other from island to island. So Trey, are you ready to make your way to your island and start? I'm ready to win. 24 hours starts now. All right, boys, we're here on the island now. The first thing we need to do is unbox our Amazon 250 piece survival kit. I'm gonna sit right here on this tree. I'm actually gonna make sure there's no spiders and whatnot around this tree, because I don't wanna I don't want nothing like that. Poison ivy, poison oak, that's fine. I just don't do spiders. All right, boys, let's bust this bad boy open real quick. Holy smokes, what do we have? A camping lamp. That's gonna come in clutch because it's gonna get pretty dark here on this island, I assume. We have some, look, oh, it's a compass. Some like parachute rope type bracelet compass thing. We might as well go ahead and put that on. We may as well Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up real quick. Oh, and it's got like a serrated thing on it to cut stuff with. Dude, that is epic right there. That is exactly what we need. I have no idea. I'll pop up on the screen what this kit looked like on Amazon, but check that out right there. This is our multi-tool. We have a hammer. We've got an axe. We've got a knife. A can opener, another knife, a screwdriver. I highly doubt we're going to need a screwdriver for a island survival. Hammer, axe, multi-tool. When in a survival situation, a multi-tool is probably one of the most important items you're going to need to have. And we have one. What else we got? Some Q-tips so we can clean our ears. Now I can hear the dangers of the island way more clear. What do we have? Let's see. We've got a punch tool yeah we got a punch we've got a punch tool a pen so we can write sos messages oh yes there we go help me help me and then we can write subscribe with a smiley face perfect we got a spork and a knife oh a spork knife dude let's go okay amazon i see you watch the camping light not even work because it needed batteries let's just find out we have a camping light with no batteries we do have a light though it'd be cool if that worked we've got some uh paracord right here some nylon rope Maybe help with building a shelter. Triangular bandage, okay, for in case things go wrong, we could bandage ourselves. This is like a little med kit right here. Emergency survival kit, oh yeah, it gives you everything right here. Well, that's perfect. It tells you everything in the kit, all right. What else is this? Emergency rescue blanket. We could probably use this to assist in the shelter building process. So that definitely is probably gonna make things a lot easier. Uh, I would hope, probably not, but we're gonna try. A flashlight with no batteries, of course. Okay, we've got that side of the kit knocked out. Let's see what's on this side. Oh my God, we got an emergency shelter. Boy, I am still gonna try to build something, but this is definitely gonna make it way easier and way more comfortable. Just a little teepee tent. We'll try to use some sticks and some wood and whatnot to get that set up better. Use that nylon rope to give it that TP shape. That's clutch. 
or a poncho. One size fits all. Dude, we might as well go ahead and put this on now. Oh my God, it's a shovel. Yes, dude. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. It just zips right in like this. Oh yeah. It's a shovel and a pick. So you make the dirt soft, flip it around, tighten it up. There we go. Now we can dig and then loosen that up, turn around, pick, dig and pick, dig and pick. Let's check in with Trey real quick. Trey, how's everything going for you? Oh, it ain't going too bad over here. I'm kind of chilling, I ain't gonna lie. I got some extra bonus items that uh, you don't have, so I am very comfy over here. Do you think you have everything you need in your kit? But I got everything and more. Well, good luck to you because my kit is insane good. This, oh, we got a little knife right there. That's our protection while we're here on the island. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. This is the fire starter. We're going to keep this in the kit so we don't lose that. If we lost our fire starter, I would be super upset. We've got some kindling right there. That'll help start a fire. We've got this right here, which is actually really cool. This thing uh, will help you chop down trees and limbs and whatnot. It's just like a little ninja rope thing. Basically, all you do is you unfold it like that. You put it around a small tree and you twist. All you do is wrap this around a tree and look how fast. Well, this is a little dogwood tree, so it's a little very, it's very flimsy, but you get the idea. You basically put that in there and we've already cut halfway through the tree and exhausted almost zero energy. You want to try to exhaust as least amount of energy as possible because the, the thing that's going to take the most energy away is probably going to be building a shelter. So this will definitely come in handy. We've got a survival whistle. All right, well, that's our kit. So I think what we need to do. All right, I think out of the three challenges, build a shelter, start a fire, and catch a fish. I think I may try to build a shelter first because that's going to be, like I said, what takes the most energy and the most time. So it's the most time consuming and the most energy exhausting. So let me go ahead and grab my emergency shelter. We're going to need our little axe right here. I've got my knife and I've got my shovel just in case. I think that might be all we need for now. I'm gonna leave this stuff right here so I don't lose it. Compile everything in one spot and let's go find a place to make our base game. Hey, Fight fans, have you built your bet slip yet? UFC 290 is this weekend and you don't wanna miss it. I've partnered up with DraftKings and right now they're offering new customers who sign up with promo code YAKPAK and bet just $5, they'll get $150 in bonus bets instantly. All right, gentlemen, I want a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves and go to your corner. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. That really didn't work like I thought it was going to. <laughs> That's right, new customers can bet $5 in any of this weekend's fights and instantly receive $150 bonus bets. Stay in the action and use your $150 bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, include a number of rounds and method of victory. The more bets you combine, the more you can win. DraftKings is the only place you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the chance to win cash prizes. You'll know the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code YAKPAK and bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code YAKPAK only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thanks for DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the content. Home sweet home for the next 24 hours, look. My island's so good, it's even got a name. Welcome to Whitetail Island. Ah. King in a castle, king in a castle. Just look at this view, you can't beat it. And how convenient. Look, I literally already have 
a built-in fire pit. That appears to be a fire poker. Ain't no way. I literally have a rope swing. I'm set. Would you look at that? I even have my own safety cone. Ain't nobody getting hurt on this island. So Tyler's no order and I'm on my own sweet time. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, unbo I'm gonna unbox this survival kit, build somewhere to sleep, catch a fish, because that's obviously my most favorite thing. And then three, start a fire. Fire starter in my fire pit. I bet TJ don't have a fire pit. Ah! I got, looks like probably 50 to 100 feet of paracord. That's gonna help for my shelter, for sure. A hatchet for the hash slinging slasher. A light. At least I have a machete. And lucky for me, I got a flame. Let's go get the hard part out of the way. Let's go build a shelter. Somebody has been so kind to leave me some burnt wood out here. I know for a fact that that burnt wood is gonna be dry and it's gonna be easy to catch on fire. So I'm not worried about that. We will take care of the fire last. Let's go explore. This is not looking good. There is white splatter all over those leaves that's probably bird poop so i probably don't want to sleep there it's not looking good boys all these trees are way too thick and way too tall oh they're so high until they're not look what we have here boys and girls <laughs> we found some easily accessible limbs. Let's get to hacking and see if we can't build us a lean to. Let's go get to chopping. All right, we're gonna haul all these over here and go like kind of lay them out and see what we're working with. I don't know how many we exact, I don't know. I don't know how many we exactly need. I know y'all seen that. But we're gonna tote these over here and go see, go see how we're cooking. I'm just getting so lucky. Look at this. I got paracord. It's not even tied around the tree. It's on a nail. Now I just gotta fish him out of there. Don't step on that. I'm gonna take my bonus paracord, save my paracord, and I'm gonna. This ground right here is not that flat. It's, it's kind of at an angle like this, kind of like a downward slope. I'm gonna untie this paracord from this tree, and I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna wrap it around this tree and that tree right there because that ground is way flatter. I got 50 foot of paracord in my survival kit and I just found an extra 25. Psh, I'm chilling. I know you've seen that. I wasn't a boy scout. I don't know other, I don't know any other knots other than a fishing knot. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna tie a fishing knot. Wrap it around, one. Two, three, because it's thick rope. You go cinch him down. Just like that. Beautiful. I think that should do it. We don't want it too long because we want it, we want our rope tight. We gotta make sure this rope is tight and doesn't have slack in it so we can hold them heavy limbs up. It's too easy. Oh we are not alone on this island tonight. I hate spiders with a passion. Oh yeah. The goal was
was to build a survivable shelter. But I'm just gonna go above and beyond and I'm gonna build a home. Cause I don't know about TJ, but I'm thriving on Whitetail Island. Always have wanted to live on the lake, boys. Here we are, my humble abode. You can't beat it. Sunrise, the sun's literally gonna rise right there in the morning. It's gonna be beautiful. We got a good base layer going, we got a good roof. It's a little thin, so we're gonna go chop a few more, but not too many more. And my idea behind that is, don't tell TJ, but I checked the weather, it's not supposed to rain. And hear me out, Here's, this, is, this is my plan. I'm gonna lay about five or six more limbs on my rope right here, but I'm gonna keep it thin so I can get a breeze blowing through there. IQ points, baby. All right, we're moving through. I feel spider webs on my feet and my legs, and I'm not a fan of spiders whatsoever. Hopefully this is not poison ivy and poison oak. Let's see. We're just gonna do some exploring. We're just gonna try to find somewhere good to make a shelter. Oh man, it's thick back there. I tell you what we might do, we might actually get in the water and walk our way around. Cause I can tell you right now, seeing this stuff right here, there's no way I'm building a shelter in any of that. No. What is that sound? Dude, I'm on Jurassic Park right now. Yeah, there's no way a shelter is getting built right here. That's gonna take way too much energy to cut that stuff down. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get back in the water and kind of walk around the island a little bit. That way I can try to find a better spot to uh to build something because there's way too much stuff right here and there's bird poop all right here so that means birds hang out there and i'm not trying to get pooped on when i'm sleeping all right ladies and gents i think we found our spot we walked all the way around the island saw a couple good spots but they were right on the water and i think it's probably safer for us if we stayed here rather than slept right beside the water so right here I'm gonna go grab some wood, start chopping up. I'm gonna use that emergency survival tent to help structure something. I'm gonna enforce it with a bunch of this wood that's laying around here. And I've got that little uh, tree cutting tool that'll make things very easy. So I can cut some extra wood down if I need it. So let's get to building. need some rocks we have to find some rocks to help weigh this down and uh, I think we will have borderline secured our shelter let's go get some rocks oh you know what I just figured out I just realized this I've got this thing not even fully unwrapped yet so it's way bigger than this Oh, let's go. That's perfect. I just ripped it. All right, oh, that's not good. Dad, we already broke our shelter. That's not good at all. All right, we're gonna try to put a rock here. Keep that down a little bit. Put a rock there. All right, let's test this bad boy out. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh, it's tight. Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh. I think I just ruined the whole thing. I don't know. I can feel it on my booty cheeks right now, and it feels like I ruined it. So, we might have to go with plan B. This is... Amazon survival kit, emergency tent, one out of 10. All right, now it's time for fire. And the reason fire is so important in a survival situation, it can keep you warm even when it's summertime, it gets a little chilly at night if you've been outside all day. It can cook food, 
It can boil water to make it potable and drinkable. And the smoke from the fire is gonna help keep the bugs away. And I don't know about you guys, but if I'm sleeping outside, I am not trying to be getting eaten alive by bugs and whatever other creatures live out here. So since I am not gonna be in a situation in the next 24 hours that I feel like I need to clean my ears, I'm gonna help use this cotton to start the fire. And all the trash that came in this box as well, all this piece of cardboard stuff, that's gonna help start a fire. So we'll use that. We've got our kiln right here. We've got our fire starter. I just dropped it where to go. I lost my fire starter. I didn't lose it. Here it is. We've got our fire starter. So let's uh, go find a good spot to build a fire. I'm thinking somewhere just literally just like right here would be perfect. I'm gonna dig out a little spot and uh, grab some more dry leaves, any kind of like pine straw, anything I can find that's just dry and will burn easy. All right, I got my kindling right here. I went ahead and tore it in half just in case. We got all that cotton down there too. We got some sticks. We've got some box stuff. So now let's just see if we can make that happen. Give us some flames, baby. Oh, oh, we got flame. Ho, 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 we are getting some smoke. Oh, we're getting smoke. I know y'all see that. I know y'all see that. What's his name? On Castaway? Like Tom Hanks said in Castaway. I have made fire. Challenge number two complete. Oh, we got, oh my God, we got a catfish. We got a giant catfish. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. Big, oh my, that's the biggest catfish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, oh my God. Catch that? What is that? I've got a river monster. Oh my God. I caught him on a jig. That might be the hardest jig bite I've ever felt in my life. Oh my God. I bet TJ has not caught one this big. I did not expect to catch that. That is insane. Lucky for him, this is an island survival and not a catch and cook because he might get his sides knocked off. If I had somewhere to keep him fresh, this right here is what I'd be having for dinner tonight. So it's his lucky day. Let's get him back. Ooh, I about fell. There he goes. Bet TJ don't catch nothing that big. Camp set up right here by the water. I'm gonna try to wade out just a little bit and uh, see if we can catch something. It gets deep pretty fast off this island, so that's a, that's a perfect scenario for fish to be traveling in and out of. I wonder what Trey chose to do if he went with uh, like fire shelter fish or like, I could see Trey doing something like going like fish, fire, shelter, or like fish, shelter, fire. Yeah, I, I could just see Trey doing the fishing first for sure, because to him, that would be the easiest. Oh, yeah, that's a money cast, dude, money shot. Keep on fishing. All we need is one, baby. All we need is one. I definitely think this bait, though, is like primo for what we, uh, what we need to get done today. Catching a fish, that thing looks sauced. All right, I'm gonna head over to this side of the island because this, I feel like this side might be a little deeper. I'm way closer to the bank and already in deeper water. So it's definitely, definitely gotta be deeper. Oh, there we go. Fish on baby, fish on. Oh, what do we got? Oh, let's go baby, let's go. Oh my gosh, right here, deep water, deep grass, white bass, 
the old deep grass white bass. Let's go. Dude, look how he ate that thing. Absolutely marked it. Dude, the one lure I decided to bring cranked it. I've always heard where there's one white bass, there's quite literally thousands more. So I'm gonna get this dude back. I'm gonna try to one up Trey to see if I can catch another fish. Let's get it, baby. Oh, oh, I told you guys, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Another white bass, baby, let's go. Come here, little dude. Come swim to me. Swim to me. Come here. Come here, baby, let's go. Another white bass. All these things got freaking spawns and a half. Dude, surviving on an island is fun, but nothing beats fishing. I had, had to walk out a lot deeper for this one. I'm like slightly above my waist right now. Two fish for me. I wonder if Trey's gonna try to catch uh, more than one fish because you know that's definitely gonna be his favorite part. But oh, all right, dude. Catch you next time. Trey just messaged me something and I have no idea what he was saying. I was trying to, in the process of gathering more wood to help fix the shelter, but he just said something. <coughs> Highest volume. Oh, TJ. Can you hear me? Barely. What's up? Have you caught any fish? Do you want an honest answer? Obviously. Not only did I catch a fish, but I, I caught two fish. fish right here in like a really, really like deep drop off. I just waded out as far as I could and I caught two. Well, how big were they both combined? There's only one reason why I could think you would ask me why, how big both of my fish combined were. Uh, I would say maybe two and a half pounds combined total. You caught two and they're only two and a half pounds? I was in a school of white bass, but yeah, about two and a half, I would say. Maybe slightly more-ish, possibly. Well, I caught what eats your fish. I caught no less than a 20-pound catfish. Bro, he's lying. Bro, there's no shot. You serious? Are you, are you yanking my chain right now, or are you being serious? I'm 100% serious. He wrapped me up around a stump and everything. I did not think I was gonna get him in. He was huge. Oh my God. You have nothing to say or what? Dude, really, a 20 pound catfish, bro. <laughs> oh my God. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I have no idea. No clue. He called a 20 pound Other catfish. What? That you got beat? I mean, was this a size game? Was it a numbers game? I mean, I mean, that's a fair question. I don't know. But I mean, I think size always wins, right? They, they say size matters. Yeah. In most circumstances, size does in fact matter. So you may just take the dub for that secondary little side quest challenge we had going on. <laughs> Dang. A 20 pound catfish, bro. What? Oh my God. Yeah, he's pretty big, but I got some survival things to do. So, uh, I'll see you later. All right, I would say holler if you need me, but that's not gonna work because I'm not swimming to your island. Good thing I don't need you. Fishing with Yak Pack, over and out. Oh no, I lost him. This dude really? I don't know if I want to believe him. I'm way over here. I have no, I don't know. I don't know. I could see it. I could definitely see it. This lake is freaking loaded with big catfish. 20 pound catfish. Yeah, he probably did, dude. Y'all know Trey's a hammer anyways. He definitely probably did catch a big catfish, bro. Oh my God. That's crazy. Well, anyways, I'm gonna put the talkie down and finish.
fixing my shelter. That sounds like Trey. Oh, it might be riddle time. Ooh. Welcome to my island. It's your humble abode. Yeah. I feel like I'm on an episode of Survivor. I <laughs> know, dude. You see my shelter? What do you think about it? It looks great. <laughs> How's yours looking? A little bit better than that. <laughs> that was the shelter that came in the Amazon kit. So I figured I was like, it came in the kit. So I have to use that to, to like actually test the kit. So it's only right. Yeah. Well, are you guys ready to solve a riddle? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I was born ready. <laughs> so you want to go first? Yep. Okay. Oh, just like that. Okay. Is All right. Yours? I already got mine solved. You think so? What has cities but no houses, forest but no trees, water but no fish? I'm glad I didn't pick that one. 10 fish are in a tank, 10 drown. How many died? How many died? The answer is zero. Fish can't drown. Why did he get the easy one? Go to what <laughs> I do. Well, I ain't even gonna lie. It would have took me about four and a half minutes to figure that out. But like, oh wait, they live in the water. It took me about four seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, cities but no houses, forests but no trees, and water but no fish. I'm glad I didn't get that one. Cities but no houses, forests but no trees. Oh no, dude. I need to put my thinking cap on. I'm gonna phone a friend. Just, I didn't pull a friend. Just because I can. It's only fair. I did get mine right in the first five seconds. It literally took you five seconds. I'm calling Norm right now. Please answer, Norm. Yo, yo. Norm, I'm, uh, I'm on an island surviving right now, and I have to solve this <laughs> riddle to receive. Oh, gosh. I got, yeah, I got to resolve a riddle to receive an item that's going to help me, that's going to help me survive, that's going to make that easier. And I need your help. All right, here's the riddle. Okay. What has cities but no houses, forest... Wait, 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 start from the beginning. I'll put you on speakerphone. Okay. What has cities but no houses, forest but no trees, and water but no fish? City but no houses, forest but no trees... Dude, I have no idea. Yo, let me ask Mason real quick. Mason. <laughs> phone a friend, phone a friend. Yeah, you know you know the answer to this riddle? Say it, yeah, Mason's here. All right, Mason, hopefully you can get this right because I'm really looking forward to getting something off this survival list. All right, what has cities but no houses, forest but no trees, and water but no fish? Uh, dude, I have no idea. That doesn't make any sense. Water. City, I, I'm thinking, okay, three main words are city, forest, and water. Or no, city, forest, and... Water, yeah. yeah water, right? City, forest, so and water. City, forest, and water. No houses, no trees, and no fish. Atlantis is like a dumb answer, because it was a city... Not underwater. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude, I have no idea. City, forest, and water... All right, I'm gonna. I might try to call. I'm gonna try to call Ao real quick and see if he, if he knows. I've only got five minutes to solve it, and we've been on the phone for two minutes. All right, all right, I'll let you go. <laughs> all right, see ya. All right, well, Norm didn't get it. Norm didn't know it, so time's ticking. I know. I got about three minutes left. Cities, no houses, forests, no trees, and water, but no fish. It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. The other day when we were fishing, that makes perfect sense. 
on the graph. I was I was looking at the graph on your boat. It's a map. The water's there. The cities are there. Everything is there, but no forest, no houses. Mm, technically, there's forest. Well, there is fish too, technically, but they're in the water. But on a map, it's a map. Is it a map? Is it a map? Yes. It's a map. <laughs> Let's go. Boy, that I, that got that one close. I, if I didn't get it, if I hadn't had that little poof epiphany, I was going to be on the phone with Ayo. So, matter of fact, let me just call Ayo and see if he answers real quick. We'll just give him a. We'll see if. Uh, we'll give him the old college. Yeah, job. we'll give. We'll, we'll see if Ayo can get this right. Just uh, out of curiosity, if he answers, he's probably doing something. He's probably building a boat right now. Proper glassing. Yeah, he's proper glassing. Itty bitty. If you don't answer, he's definitely building some sort of watercraft. Definitely. Primitive watercraft some without bird. bamboo. Yeah. Floating down the hoochie. Yeah. He's definitely building a boat right now. So here is the list. <laughs> Are y'all ready? Yeah. Let me see what we got. Okay. Well, who gets to pick first? Trey got his right first. Yeah, Trey okay, got okay, right. He got hit. Okay. Yeah. He got his right first. I already see it. <laughs> Survival items, air mattress, hammock, sleeping bag, ribeye steak, or a large pizza? These are tough. All right, Trey, you go with it. Ribeye steak sounds pretty good, but yeah. I have nothing to cook him with. That's fair. So I'm not mm. picking that. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with the air mattress. You going air mattress? That's it. That's some Trey stuff. That's some, that's some Trey stuff. Sleep we're, over everything? We're sleeping in comfort tonight, boys. <laughs> yeah, all right. Out of all, a hammock, I could definitely use a hammock as you guys can see, but I will, uh, that didn't come in the kit, so I just feel like we need to test that, but I feel like, I feel like we need to use that, so, dude, a pizza. You can't pick the air mattress. I know. Okay. Fast and easy would be pizza, but, I mean, I'll start, I, have you already started the fire? Have you built your fire yet? I've not built a fire you yet, but built I did fire? catch a, a giant catfish did that you? got lucky that oh. I did not have a fire oh. going. Oh, God, yeah, he would have been slapped open, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, uh, I had a fire going like very fast. So that gives me hope. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a steak. I'm gonna cook a steak over my fire. I'm getting a steak. I'm eating good tonight, boys. I ain't going to bed hungry. All right, Trey. Here's the item that you selected. Let's go. Let me, give me that. That boy's sleeping comfy tonight. <laughs> comfy tonight, boys. And here is your item. Ooh. Look how thick she is. That's a a 1.2 pound. Porterhouse steak. I guess the ribeyes were out of stock, huh? Oh, I thought that's what I got. <laughs> It'll do. It'll do. It's plenty thick enough. Now, I just got to get my fire back rolling. Trey's got to get back to his island. We're going to cook us a steak, boys. All right, boys, we got our fire back going, and we've got our little spork knife thing right here. I'm probably just going to cook the steak just straight up like that. Regardless, it's going to be good. Look at that behemoth piece of meat right there. Big as my freaking head. I may even just cut a little sliver off of it, honestly. Just sliver it up like, oh yeah, look at that. Eat little steak slivers like this. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's even hotter. We might need a longer stick, boys. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just eat around it. Got us a little hole in there. Cook pieces of steak like that over an open flame. I'm getting fond in my booty cheeks right now. I don't want no pine cone dust on my steak. It's cooking good. It's burning a little bit, but it'll be okay. The sun is starting to go down. It's like, let's see. It's almost seven o'clock now. The sun's starting to go down. And uh, the only thing I'm really worried about this evening is the birds and the bugs. Because these birds, they sound like some airborne velociraptors up there doing crazy stuff. Well, I hope that tastes better than it looks. Because it ain't looking so good. My flame's going down. I need to go get some more wood here after I try this piece. That way I can eat the rest of the steak. All right, let's see. Very hot. Charred on the outside. God, that's hot. Jeez. Yeah, 
that's charred all right. Look at that. I'm gonna cut a little bit of char off. Not a big char guy. Smells like steak. It's the equivalent to a A little bit less than a medium rare, so that's good though. Steak is a steak is a steak, boy. Some good stuff. I'm gonna go find some more wood, put it on the fire, keep the fire going, cook the rest of my steak. Enjoy this. You know all them dang birds? They everywhere up in the top of them trees right now, just doing crazy stuff. I'm gonna go get some more wood, cook the rest of my steak and enjoy a nice sunset. I hope Trey's doing as good as I am. Just made it back from the island. Got my prized possession here, boys. We're sleeping comfy tonight. But look, I mean, look. Nice breeze. I mean, tell me, tell me we're not cooking. We're cooking right now. We got a beautiful shelter, soon to be having a fire, and we also got an air mattress. But that's not the best part. The best part is this lakefront view. Thank goodness for my survival knife. You know what that looks like to me? Fire starting material. Oh yeah, boys. Let's go. We got stuff to start a fire. And we got comfortable sleeping. been bamboozled. I don't have a pump. Maybe I can still use it as a pillow. But not as a comfy bed. Ah! Just putting the finishing touches on. We got some already burnt wood, which is very dry. We got some tiny little limbs, cracked them in half to make them small so they'll burn easy. And we're topping it off with some highly flammable pine straw. Beautiful. Oh, we got we got we got sparks. This might take a minute. Oh, we got a flame! Let's go! Let's go! They call me the Flint Master. If you ever stranded, bad situation. There's a good chance there's pine straw around you. That is very flammable and a very good way to start a fire. Well, we got the fire going. I'm gonna let it burn, let it smoke out. Let it smoke out the area, clear out all the bugs because we know we don't like bugs and I get chewed alive. We're gonna set up my air mattress that doesn't have air in it. Maybe we can still use it as a pillow. Sure wish I had a large pizza right now instead of an air mattress with no pump. Just as I'd imagined, we're smoking them bugs out. Follow me over here. Let's get my air mattress bed with no air set up in my MTV cribs. The only thing left to do, I already caught a big catfish, already built a shelter, already built a fire. Sure wish I had a large pizza right now. Is to enjoy this beautiful sunset on my bed with no air. Oh yeah, buddy. Boys and girls, it can always be worse. You could be laying on the ground with the bugs and the snakes and spiders. With this, at least with this, I have a little bit of cushion and a little bit separating me and the earth. So let's slide it on up in there. Not that bad. We can make this work.
It's far for it. The worst sleep. I'm on top of my tent somehow. supposed to look like that's what mine look like I should have just built something <sighs> I'm about to go call the window let's see if Trey's up oh oh, oh I look so good right now look at this view boys Thanks so bad. Trey. I don't think he's... If he don't answer, I'm gonna have to call him. On the freaking... Trey. Whoa, channel where are we on? Three. Channel three, Dale Earnhardt. Stop, there we go. Channel three. <coughs> Trey. Mm -hmm. this dude, I gotta wake him up. Who is calling me? Hello. Hello. Well, good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. Dude, I hear them birds chirping over there on your island. They cut me off. Uh, yeah. That was the worst sleep possible. Wait till you see how my Amazon tent turned out when you see this video. It was a mess. I, uh, I forgot what I was saying. I just woke up. Um, Where's your walkie-talkie? I've been calling you. Dude, you're not gonna believe it. My Walmart survival kit comes with a flashlight without batteries, of course. Yeah. And I got bad news about my walkie. Uh oh. I lost him right before I went to bed. He's <laughs> green. Everything out here is green. It was dark. <coughs> Things happened. Day. Um. One thing turned to the next, and next thing I know, I was. Out of I got, I, I had two lights in my kit. I had two, and neither one of them came with batteries. So, if you ever find yourself in a survival situation with an Amazon survival kit, make sure you got batteries in your pocket because they're not going to have them in the survival kit. Are you ready to get off this island? Yeah, island? I'm about to call April and Briar to come pick us up. That's all she wrote, boys. We freaking did it. All right, I'll see you in a in a minute, I reckon. All right. All right, see ya. Well, boys. We made it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up. I look like a hot mess right now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the video with a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you have not already. Sorry that I'm not my usual self. I slept in that last night. Or technically, I slept on that. I don't know how you end up on a tent rather than inside it. There were three challenges and a riddle for today's survival episode. We smashed all three challenges and we solved the riddle just in the nick of time. But I slept like absolute dog trash last night. But we somehow managed to make our way on top of the tent. Anyways, thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to get the heck off this island and go eat a fat breakfast at a gas station. Probably a sausage, egg, bacon, and cheese biscuit. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love y'all. Catch you on the next venture. Peace.